who is Makita Moore? Oh my goodness. Listen, you know this band in the back, it say all these things, right? It does. You have a whole list behind you. I mean, <laughs> I have been doing this for a long time. So um, so I am an author, right? But I'm also a founder of a not-for-profit organization. I'm also a co-founder of my daughter's not-for-profit organization. I am an international... Nope, they told me to stop saying that. <laughs> my business manager said that I am not international. I am global. So what? I am a global uh, speaker. I am a publisher. So I own a publishing company. I am an author of 17 books. Come on, 17. Yeah. Brother, it was a co author, <laughs> a chapter, or whatever the case may be. I have 17 published things out there. <laughs> so you, you I, I, I'm a mom you of five. You know, I've never been married, but, you know, God going to send my husband soon. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so that's pretty much who I am. I'm a, a licensed real estate agent. Or licensed realtor, depending on the okay. state. I'm here in Illinois and Tennessee, um, soon to be Missouri and Indiana. So that's just kind of who I am and what I do. So yeah. So um, now you have 17 um, books, or you have 17 um, published works. Yes. Um, so yeah. what is the book that we'll be talking about today? So. We're going to talk about this first book, right? Because okay. the first book started this whole journey. Um, so the first book is called The Letter from the Invisible Daughter. And I wrote this book in 2016. I want to say it published in June of 2016. Um, that book kind of started the, the segue of touring, talking about my story, really telling people who I was. Because, you you know, you see the Makita on the outside, but you have no clue what she's been through. You have no clue the stories that I can tell about the childhood, the teenage years, you know, being a mother at 14 years old, a mother of two by 16 years old. So mm. it talks about all of that. And then there's a letter to my father um, after each chapter. So, yeah, this is this is the good one. This is the good one. I mean, they're all good, but this is the fact. <laughs> Has the um, the feedback or the response changed um, depending on where you go? So yes and yes and no, right? Um, so twenty sixteen to twenty nine twenty eighteen, I toured alone. Alone, I can't say alone. I toured twenty sixteen to twenty eighteen with a featured speaker, one of my very best friends. And um, in 2018, God told me to open it up to other speakers. So in 2019, I opened it up and opened it up to other speakers and other authors. And that's when the feedback became different because those speakers were telling their testimonies and their stories. So those the the speakers and the audience was like, "Oh my God!" So I guess it didn't change, but it was it was no longer about. Makita, it was about the bigger yeah. picture. And the bigger picture is heal one city, one state, one person at a time, right? Um, so we 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 started to travel and then we expanded. So it was St. Louis and Memphis, then it went to Atlanta, is Arizona, um Alabama. We've been a lot of states. So it started as we opened up the speakers, we opened up the cities. So we would travel from February to uh, October, and we would just travel from city to city, state to state. Um, right now, we are on a hiatus because okay. I need to gather myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it I, seems I like that first book um, helped you to launch an entire platform that you've continued to build upon. Absolutely. 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 Um, the That's first awesome. book allowed me to tell the bigger story is what I like to call it. Mm -hmm. And then each book after that allowed me to elaborate on parts of those stories. So it's, it all kind of go together. Um, you don't have to read them in sequence. Uh, okay. it, it doesn't work like that. Now, the first two books you do. But okay. after that, you can read it in however way you want to read it. I have a journal um, that teaches you how to kind of heal through it all, write through it all. Um, I have a slogan. I am the publisher that can get you from your head 
to the pages on the shelf in 60 days. If you follow the guidelines that I give you, I can get your book written and on the shelves in 60 days. Because I know what it really is, is a block. It's not about you don't know what to say. You either want scared to say what you're going to say because family is going to say or friends are going to say or whomever, mm -hmm. right? Or you are at a point where you're not ready to reveal that part of yourself. Right. So my first book, my father, my mother, my kids, everybody wrote, read it. But after that, I kind of started keeping my books to myself. I didn't tell my dad. I didn't tell I mean, I, they know I have multiple books. However, I shared that first book. Like, here, everybody, here you go. A copy, copy, copy. But now we're getting more intimate. We're getting more into my business, as I like to call it. So I'm not, if you want to read it, absolutely. Because my dad, like, you got 17 books. I want a copy of each one. And I'm like, I don't know about Are that. Are you sure? <laughs> you sure? And my mama, like, I don't know if I want to read nothing else. So. I tell my clients, don't even talk to your family or your kids or none of them people about it because they may talk you out. That's true. Of it. That is now, true. once you wrote the book, it's published. Then you have a conversation like, hey, this is what mm -hmm. I was feeling. This is my truth. This is my story. This is what I wrote about. I'm sorry if you feel some kind of way, but this is my truth. And I had to get it out. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So what are you working on next? <laughs> uh oh, she started laughing. I, I, let me get myself prepared. Let me get comfortable. Um, and it's crazy you ask me that right now because <laughs> I haven't really revealed this yet. So you are well, I'm the getting first exclusive. person to know. Um, I'm getting exclusive. Some of it, right? <laughs> so most people know that I am turning my first book, "The Letter from the Invisible Daughter," into a play. However, um, we are not. We are going straight to TV. Okay. So instead of turning it into a play, we are turning it into a movie. Because yes. my co-writer, uh, the book, you know, the book is already written. That's mine. But I do have somebody helping me write the play. Mm -hmm. And because of that, um, that person was like, you know what? I got connections. Why don't we just... And I was like, you sure? And they were having like blocking of writing because you, you're you you're tied into this one set. When it's a play, you're tied into maybe one set or two sets versus when you do a movie, you're not tied into these sets. Right. So he was like, I'm tired of being tied in. So I was like, okay, what are we going to do? <laughs> so we had the conversation. We spoke to a few people. We got some more meetings to do. But for the most part, we are 90% a go to not do the play, but do the movie. Um, where can you order my books? All of them are on Amazon. Put my name in, Makita L. Moore, and they will all come up on Amazon. They are also on my website, www.nikitamore.com. <laughs>